have to worry about because in the faces, we selected this for the top, we selected this for the bottom. It'll sew them correctly. Or it will, um, actually sewing is a, a different technique, which I don't know yet, but it will line them up when you use the UV texture. So don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to use the side view, and this time I'm going to planner map to the create UVs planner map to the um, I think the X axis this time. Let's apply. Yep, that's right. And let's get a big, huge square. This should not need to be highly detailed. In fact, I'm just going to put it right there. In fact, that's probably too big. And there are better spots for it. I'm going to move it. Do, 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 do. Okay. So you got that there. And there's one last obstacle. Um, you got this thing here. Now, remember, Alt-click to look around. Alt-mouse-click, uh, middle mouse button to move the view. Just mouse scroll on its own to zoom in. You'll notice that there are two dots here. When I select that one, I get that shape, which is the one I want. And there seems to be two of them here. I don't know why. But for just to be safe, I'm going to actually select all four of them. It's probably something that happened with the Boolean. If you you can deselect with these two, should be able to. Yeah, you have to click very closely. Yeah, that's the deselect. I'm gonna look around here, make sure. Well, it is selected, so it should work. If it doesn't, then I probably just modeled it wrong. Okay. Um, X-axis again. Let's apply that. Hope it all went okay, and it didn't. Um, okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move this out of the way, because it's a bad one. But... Regardless of that, I'm going to I'm going to undo that. Yeah, if you do bad on it, uh, just undo it. Okay, I'm going to do these one at a time just to be safe. That's probably the best way to do it. So I'm just going to select that, go in my side view. Since the same since those options are already set, they should be set. Yeah, I can just hit apply. Good. I get just this basic square. That's what I want. Now, I'll just set that aside. Deselect, make sure it's there. You'll notice those white lines are still there. If you do not remove, if you don't find the source of that, you're going to run into an issue where it will... Well, basically, they're like miniature faces. Think of them like that. And... If you only have, if you have a texture that's one pixel in width, let's say, and you stretch it along something that is 500 by 500, you're going to get a really stretched pixelated image, which will look very, very bad. So I've done this side. Go back in here. Select that. Don't ask me why there's two. I, I honestly don't know. Oh, you know what it is? It is because one part is the sword. Yes, okay, okay, I see what it is. So I did mess up in the modeling, I guess, but oh well. Make sure you're selecting the, the hilt and not the blade. That is paramount. All right. Let's create UVs. Just do planner. Again, just shrink this down. And we'll put it right here. Now, I did overlap here, so I'm going to actually move this. And you'll notice I still have an overlap issue.
because there are those two last areas that are left. And that's the result of a bad UV map. So the last step here is just as a precaution, it's a good idea to planner map them, at least in my opinion. I'm sure others would disagree with me. In fact, you know what? I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm going to delete the face. And the reason for this is because no one's going to see this damn thing. Because it's, it's like the backside of the blade that's going into the hilt. So I can actually delete that face. And now I only have this, which is good. And I'm going to do it again here. Don't delete what you already planner mapped. Make sure it's still selected. Delete. Good. Basically, it's a good idea to delete faces that the user will never see because they're just going to take up more render time. Uh, things like if you have the back of a shotgun, you may not want to show it if it's never seen. Think uh, view models. The V models, uh, like when you pull out your knife in Counter-Strike Source, you see it in the first person view. If you never see the back side of your knife, why leave those faces in? You can if you need to like reuse it or if you want to show off to other people, but it may be a good idea just to delete them if they're never seen. But just be careful because if they do mysteriously become visible, you may run into issues. For this, I recommend for the knife to leave everything visible just because the default animations should leave everything visible. Uh, you will experiment with it, I guess, in time, and you can figure it out. Uh, there is one face left here. I'm not sure what this is, to be honest. I'm going to look around here. Okay, so clearly, hmm, I'm not sure how that got left. But I am going to just UV map it here real quick. And let's shrink it down. I'm going to move it out of the area first, just as a precaution. OK. So that's what was it. OK. Somehow it got changed. Maybe it was because I deleted. I'm not 100% sure. All right. Uh, and there you go. There's a UV texture area. Now I am going to save this. And I will show you two methods you can use which um, I'll show you a method for just using the texture here uh, in Photoshop, exporting this thing here to Photoshop. And the other method is just making a default sort of basic texture in Maya and applying that and baking it so that you can use Maya's uh, image uh, or Maya's 3D render or whatever to make your um, texture for you. All right, let me stop this, and I'll start up again.